Hey guys, so my dad recently bought me a Raspberry Pi 4 and I thought why not make a video of it? So hopefully that will help you guys. And this is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B which has 4 gigabytes of RAM. So let me show you what I got in the box. So this was, I already opened this box. So let me just reopen it for you guys. Here's the Raspberry Pi. Here's the front side. And here's the back side. There's the SD card slot. Let me show you what's in the heat sink kit. This will help the the heat sinks will help the Raspberry Pi from overheating. So now I'm gonna show you how to keep one of the, I have three heat sinks. So I'm gonna show you how to keep one of the heat sinks on and you guys can maybe later put on the rest yourself. But I'm gonna do one for this video. Okay, so I'm gonna so over here. You just have to peel it off, and be careful, you guys. When you put the heat sinks on, you should be careful where you keep it, cause once you keep it, it doesn't come off. Okay, how am I gonna keep this if it doesn't come off? Got it. All the sides, it's good. Yeah, that's good. So I've pasted all of the three heat sinks now, and this is how it looks like. So this is how yours should look like too if you're done. Now let me show you what each port is. So let me show you the ports. Here is the here is the USB 2.0 port, and it has two area two slots for you to keep your USB cable. And here is the USB 3.0. And again, that also has two slots. Here, now the big one is the gigabit ethernet. So here you can just plug in your internet cable and connect it to the internet. Here, here we have the 40 pin general purpose input output header. Here we have the wireless Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So it's already connected. You can there are two ways to connect it from here and from the internet cable. Here we have the two lane two lane display port. Behind on the back side we have the S micro SD card slot. Here we have the the USB-C power port. This is what will turn your Raspberry Pi on. Here we have the micro, these two are, are the exact same, so it doesn't matter which one you put it in. This is the micro HDMI ports. This over here is the two lane camera ports. You can connect your camera and see your photos. Here we have the four pole stereo audio and you can connect it to your headphones, your speaker or anything and just play the music with the Raspberry Pi. And now let me show you how to put your SD card on the back side. So here is the SD card slot. And here is the SD card front and back side. So we're just going to just have to push it in there and you have it put in. The data is all in there and hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. 